Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the OpenHub channel. In this one I want to talk about the semantic model. In my opinion it's one of the best features which came with the OpenHub 3 system. In a previous video we talked about the installation process of OpenHub 3. So the next step would be to set up the semantic model and organize our items and things. So as always a good starting point would be to go to openhub.org go to the documentation and then read through the semantic model. There are a lot of tips and this tutorial is quite good. So if I do this video right, you don't even need this, but um, it's always good to have a tutorial like this in the background. So I'm gonna show you my running OpenHub system right now. We are in the overview page and down here you can see the locations, the equipments and the properties. So all these three tabs are related to the semantic model. For example, here we got all the locations we are set up in, um, in the semantic model. Here we got all the equipments we set up in the uh, semantic model and here are all the properties. So if I go here to my settings, go to model, you basically can see the same configuration we just looked at just as a textual configuration. Um, so here that's my semantic model. For example, here you can see um, a few different locations, home, workshop, outdoor and so on. Underneath these locations, I got a few different under locations. For example, in my home, I got a corridor, a kitchen, a, a dining room and so on. And in my workshop, I got an office and a workshop. Outdoor, for example, I got a camera and uh, some weather data. So you always should put a under location inside the main location. For example, if you got a, a, a main location first floor, just put your kitchen and your uh, dining room and, and so on inside this main location. And if I go inside my main location home here, and then inside my under location corridor, um, you can see a few equipments. In this case here, I got a motion detector here. So I put in an equipment motion detector. If I go inside that, you can see the item or the points. So here I got the item or the point uh, light measurement and here the motion detector itself. So to set up a semantic model like this, it's quite easy, but there are um, like, I, th I would say like two different or two main steps or two main routes um, to go to get to a semantic model like this. I normally um, choose the route one I'm going to show you right now. So if I want to um, get a new thing or a new equipment inside my semantic model, I first need to go to things. Then I click on the plus button here. And in my case, I want to uh, create or install a new Amazon Echo. So I choose the Amazon binding here, click on scan and wait for the new device to appear. Gonna, uh, we can see it right here. So I click on it. Um, I'm gonna give the name Office Echo Dot. Click on OK. And we already installed or linked our new thing. So if I search for it, you can see it right here, Office Echo Dot. So now you have to go back to the model page here. And as I said, there are two different ways. I'm going to show you um, my preferred way. And after that, I'm going to show you the second way. So first of all, I click into the empty space here in the semantic model, and then I add a new location. In our case here, it's just an example, so I call this one example um, location. As a type, I leave this one as group. You can choose between different um, um, types here. 
Um, but I want to group some locations together, so I um, leave this one as group. Category, you can choose between different categories. I choose here um, first floor just for uh, example purposes. And as a semantic class, I leave this one um, as location. And then I click on create. As I said earlier, I always like to do it um, to put an under location inside the main location. For example, here we got the uh, example location. Could be um, first floor or how you want to name it. It always depends on the house or the home uh, you're living in. So here in the example location, I add another location. So just um, check that this one is um, selected. Then click on add location. And then I um, create a new location called office. I'm gonna do it like office test. It's better to um, diverse them. Uh, the type, I leave this one as group as well. Here on the category, I can choose office and semantic class, I leave this one as location. And then I create this one. Next step would be to uh, get the thing inside this location, to get the thing and the equipment and the item inside this location. So that's quite easy. We are going to select this location here. Then you can choose here between add location again, create equipment from thing, create points from thing, add only equipment and add a point. In our case, we only created or we only installed the thing. So we need to create equipment from thing. We click on it, then we choose our just created thing. It was called office echo dot selected. And then you can set up the thing itself and link the channels here. In my case, it's the um, echo dot. So there is no real uh, category for this one. So I leave this one empty. And here you can choose between the channels you want to link. Um, in this case, for this video, I just want to link the player channel here. So I click on it, select it, and give a nice name here. Echo player type is a player. As category, I use player as well. Semantic class. Here you can choose between mm, the semantic classes, the points you want to create. So in this case, we want to control the um, device. So I choose here semantic class control. If you want to measure something or if you want to um, just switch a button, for example, you have to choose switch or um, the, the right class for your device. It always depends which device you want to install and then you can um, choose the right class here. So in our case, it's control. Semantic property, there are a lot of properties to choose from, but for this case, uh, we wanna just um, create a player here, though there is no right um, property. We would have a sound volume controller, a sound volume property. We use this one later, but for now I leave this one empty. And then I go add to model. And then as you can see, it, um, the thing appears or the equipment appears here underneath the office test location. And if you click on it, you can see the player. So we already created or we already linked our item inside the uh, or to the semantic model. So if we double check this one and if we go to our overview page here, and then choose location. You can see a new created card here, office test. And then um, we click on it and you can see the player inside this card. So the lo location is um, written here, example location. And then we got the under location office test and then we click on it. And then we got the equipment office echo dot and the item or the point echo player. There is another way to link or to transfer your item to this semantic model. Um, for this way, you go to things and then search for uh, the thing you, you linked or you installed. It was F Office Echo Dot. 
click on it, click on channels. And then I want to uh, uh, link another channel here, the volume channel. I click on it, add link to item. And then I create a new item. I give a nice name. Here again. Type, I leave this one as dimmer because I want to um, dim my volume and control my volume. Here as category, I choose sound volume, semantic class. We can choose control again because we want to control the device or control the item. As semantic property, I choose sound volume because that's the property. And then you have to choose a parent group here. If you click here on the uh, three lines, you can choose your parent group out of the semantic model. So in our case, we go inside the example uh, location, then inside the office test and pick office echo dot, the equipment. So then we link our item or our point inside the equipment here. You pick this one, go to link. Don't forget to click save up here. And then if we go back to the model, go inside our location, the under location and the equipment, you can see we already linked or we already um, transferred our new created item to the semantic model. So now we got the player and the volume. Gonna double check this one. Go to locations, click this card. And then you see the volume control and the player control. If you got um, already some items or some points living here inside the semantic model and you didn't group them, uh, for example, if you just go the uh, route with uh, creating things here and then adding channels or linking channels and then add a new item without um, picking a parent group because you didn't even uh, set up a location or whatsoever, um, then it's quite easy to uh, transfer this item or this point to a different location. For example, if I want to um, transfer a light from my uh, main location home and my under location corridor here, I pick my light here. As you can see, these two lights are linked together because it's one item, um, but I put it in um, two different spots here in the semantic model, but I am gonna talk about this uh, in a minute. But for now, we wanna transfer this um, corridor light to our example location. So we pick it and then click on this section here, go to edit. And then here in the parent group, you can search for it. It's living in the corridor um, both times here in the equipment and in the location. So I uncheck this one, go to the example location, go to office test, and then I want to put it here in the office test as a main, um, main light. I pick this one, click on save, and then go back to the model. And now this uh, light is just living underneath a location. So um, sure you can um, switch it on and off, but if we go here in our overview page, click on refresh, go to locations and choose our card here. You can see that we got now two different tabs up here. We got our tab equipment or devices and our tab um, properties here. The reason for that is um, we just put the item or the point underneath the location. So there is no equipment like here in our echo dot. We got uh, the location, then equipment and inside the equipment we put the points or the items. Um, here it's way different. We put the item um, corridor light just underneath this location. So it's living just here in the uh, properties here in, the, in this own tab. 
and not here on the equipment or devices. Um, this is quite useful if you got more uh, devices inside one card or inside one location. For example, here in the office card, I got a lot of, uh, a lot of items here. So I choose the way to um, categorize this a little bit different and put the main lights I always access or always need access to uh, underneath the property tab here. So if I go uh, into my office and click on my card here, I go to properties and then I click just, um, I, I can uh, switch on and off just my lights here. But I think it would be useful to have it in our uh, equipment or our devices tab here too. So to do that, it's quite easy. Um, just click on the location here, the under location and add a new equipment. And then we name it, um, let's say office light. It's no office light, but we just go for that one. Then I leave this one as group. Here I choose uh, light. Then semantic class, I leave this one as equipment. Then I click uh, create. And now you can um, choose between um, just transferring this item here or this point here inside the equipment or to leave it here and put it inside the equipment. So I go this way. So I click on here, click on edit, click on parent group and then I choose my new created equipment here, office light. I pick this one. Now you can see that this item lives inside the office light and the office test location. We save this one, go back to the model. So now we have it here inside the equipment and we got it here just underneath the location. So if I um, refresh this page here, the overview page and go to locations and go to our card here, you can see now we got the office light uh, or the corridor light. It was a corridor light, but it's just an example here inside the um, devices or the equipments and inside the properties. As I said, that's quite useful if you've got a lot of um, devices living inside a location um, because sometimes it can be overwhelming like here. Um, there are a lot of stuff going on and if I just want a quick access to some lights, I put it inside here and then I got my quick access. So I think that was the uh, main functions of the semantic model. I hope you found it uh, useful. If you got any questions, just put it down in the comment section. And if you like the video, just um, give me a thumbs up. And I would say, let's sound this up. Stay safe and I will see you to the next video. Bye bye.